नमस्कार प्रेयर्स फॉर योर एंड योर फैमिली मेंबर्स सेफ्टी एंड हेल्थ होप यूर ऑल वेरी फाइन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन क्लास नाइन्थ इंग्लिश द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर द फन दे हैड we are going to discuss the textual questions in this video session are you ready for the questions and the answers have you read the chapter then i hope you will be able to answer all the questions very easily here is the first question write down the questions and the answers in your fair english notebook part 1 answer these questions in a few words or a couple of sentences the first question under that How old are Margie and Tommy? Do you know? Here is answer. Number two. What did Margie write in her diary? Number three. Had Margie ever seen a book before? What do you think? Number four. What things about the book did she, that is Margie, find strange? Number five. What do you think a telebook is? Number six. Where was Maggie's school? Did she have any classmates? What do you think? Number 7. What subjects did Margie and Tommy learn? Well, there could be many subjects that are learned in school but which subjects are mentioned in the chapter write that in your answer those were short answer type questions questions 1 to 7 write the questions as well as their answers in your fair english notebook now let us turn to the second part of the exercise the second part answer the following with reference to the story the very first one it's a line taken from the lesson based on this line you have to answer three questions there are two such type of 
questions. Such questions are known as a reference to context type of questions. Let us take up the first one. If you go back to paragraph number 2, you will find the line here. G said Tommy, what a waste. When you are through with the book, you just throw it away, I guess. Our television screen must have had a million books on it and it is good for plenty more. I would not throw it away. So you find that Tommy is saying this line, I would not throw it away. That means I would not throw a book away. So you find the answer here. The second question, they had a teacher, but it wasn't a regular teacher, it was a man. Let us, let us try to find out this particular line in the lesson. If you go back to the lesson, on page number 8, you will find the very first line which says, sure they had a teacher. But it wasn't a regular teacher. It was a man. So this is from paragraph 6. Yeah, part 6. On page number 8. Let us try to answer the questions. The first question is, Who does they refer to? Now, we move on to the third set of questions. The instruction is, answer each of these questions in a short paragraph, about 30 words. So here, your answers should be little longer. There are 8 questions in this exercise. I am going to help you to write down the answers to these 8 questions. What I will do is jot down the points which you can include in your fair answers. I hope this will help you. While writing the answers, you may go back to the lesson. The lesson, the reading of the lesson and the points that I give you will definitely help to write the answers. Try it out. Best of luck. Number one. What kind of teachers did Margie and Tommy have? So, why did Margie's mother send for the county inspector?
थ्री वॉट डिड ही डू दैट इज वॉट डिड द काउंटी इंस्पेक्टर डू Number four, why was Margie doing badly in geography? What did the county inspector do to help her? Five. What had once happened to Thomas' teacher? Six. Did Maggie have regular days and hours for school? If so, why? Seven. How does Tommy describe the old kind of school? Eight. How does he describe the old kind of teachers? those were important points related to each answer frame sentences and write meaningful answers using these points try to be creative you may add your own sentences and try to answer the questions i'm sure you will be able to write all the answers now that you're growing up you need to write the answers on your own Espr expressing in your own words and writing it in your own way this is going to help you improve your language and expression so best of luck to you here i am giving you one small grammar exercise it's a very easy exercise here i am providing you with a list of adjectives you have to turn them into adverbs well that's a very easy task for you you simply have to add the suffix ly and all these adjectives will turn into adverbs let me give you one example angry is an adjective but when you add the suffix ly and make angry into angrily the word angrily becomes adverb this way i want you to turn these adjectives into adverbs one word of caution when you are turning adjectives into adverbs make sure that you write the spelling correctly so are you ready write down this exercise in your english notebook 